In this video, we'll learn how to balance your life. In our quest to accomplish our every goal to the point of reaching our lifetime goal, we would often fail to control our passion and let it become an overwhelming obsession which takes over our lifestyle and even health. At this point, whatever we pursue will not become as important as our life. In other words, we have to balance our life of achieving goals and the other important aspects of our life such as our health, family, friends, and leisure. In spite of everything, all day work and no play make Jack a dull boy or maybe even a sick boy. Now let's look into a few important aspects of life. Herophilus once said, When health is absent, wisdom cannot reveal itself, art cannot manifest, strength cannot fight, wealth becomes useless, and intelligence cannot be applied. A cliché repeated in multiple versions of quotes serves to remind us that without our well-being, one simply cannot be productive in work or enjoy our love with our family and friends. Our health is the most vital aspect we cannot neglect whatever age we are at. Practicing a healthy lifestyle will improve the quality of our lives and those around us. It will not just increase productivity, but also prolong our life. However busy we are, we need to maintain a nourishing and healthy diet special occasions are exceptions, exercise sufficiently, and get enough sleep. It would be a waste of our efforts to achieve our lifetime goals if we are not healthy enough to enjoy the sweetness of our victories longer. As human beings, family and friends is a category we can never neglect, no matter how successful we are in other areas of our life. Otherwise, there will be no fulfillment. Humans are social creatures who cannot live without a single relationship with others. As such, every human is socially dependent on one another to survive right from our birth. It all started with our relationship with our mothers who give birth to us, and then expands to our other family members, and then friends, and lovers, and so on. But how important is our social life? Being socially healthy is as equally important as being mentally and physically healthy. Spending quality time with our family and friends is one of the social needs of an average person of whatever age. After a long day of business or work, don't just go back to the TV, your phone, or whatever electronic gadget. Try to connect with people and pay attention to their lives. The idea of a healthy social life benefits ourselves as it keeps us from depression and social isolation, which could impact our health at a serious level. Other than our social needs, being involved in positive relationships caters to our emotional needs. Relationships and social networks always work on a give-and-take basis. Hence, such support is a privilege we receive from giving as much attention and effort to maintain positive relationships with the people around us. As a conclusion, we definitely should surround ourselves with people who understand, encourage, and support us in our lives, while we also work to share with them our strength and inspirations. Spending time alone Overworked and feeling that you have given all your time to everyone else except yourself are symptoms that you should allocate some personal time to relieve the stress and to reflect on the main aspects of your life. One's social life is never complete without time for only the self. By spending some time alone, we will not feel demotivated when we continue to pursue our goals. In fact, this type of self-time allows us to be happy and invigorated for further challenges. This is also an opportunity for us to reward ourselves when we have achieved a goal. Travel the world, take up a new hobby, expand our knowledge in a certain field, or even just playing video games are several ways to revitalize ourselves. Now we'll discuss one of the biggest areas in your life that you need to put constant focus on, your finances. Money is the root of all evil. That only applies when it is in the wrong hands. On an interesting note, many of us finish our primary and secondary education without ever being aware of the crucial aspect of personal finance in our lives. Only in college or university is it that we start to realize that the financial control over our lives is key to survival in the society. However, being aware of the good practices to control your finances and actually practicing them are the factors that decide whether money is really the root of all evil. After all, it does reflect on our credit scores. Here are the 10 good habits to maintain healthy personal finance. 1. Tracking income and expenses. Undoubtedly, this is the fundamental step of any financial planning and controlling. As the average person, tracking income is not as complicated as tracking expenses, especially if the sources of income are not many. Tracking expenses requires some discipline and consistency in our daily habits, such as recording the amount of cash we spent, keeping the credit card bill we paid, keeping receipts of our expenses, 
loan information, tax records, and online purchases. It gives us a better idea of our personal finance and how it can help us to achieve our goals while reminding us to stay financially healthy by not spending more than our income. 2. Priority Allocations while it is most basic to suggest that we should plan our budgets, there are definitely certain priorities which we should prioritize our finances for. When we receive our paychecks at the end of the month, the first step will always be to allocate these funds to the priorities we set in line with our goals. Such priority funds may be our savings, loans, our children's education, retirement funds, and investments. By setting this as the first step of our budget, we can work out how much we have left to spend or to prepare for other necessities. 3. Emergency Funds Other than insurances which can cover certain amount of our losses in accidents, we are advised to keep up to 10% of our monthly income for emergency uses. For instance, having an accident which can keep us away from work means we can utilize these funds which we have already saved up before our daily expenses. As surprise scenarios can be quite unpredictable, it is best we prepare the umbrella before the rain. 4. Staying away from high interest credit or totally away from debts. At some point in our lives, it would be almost impossible to stay free of loans. Because of this, we have to consider the loans with the lowest interest rates we can apply for to reduce our repayment. After all, any interest rate imposed upon the principal is the main income of the debtor. Paying way more than what we have borrowed will only increase unnecessary expenses. Besides, some creditors allow advance repayments for us to finish the repayment before the planned payment period. In this case, we might even save up on the interest of the remaining payment period. Staying debt-free means gaining more income and also a better credit score, which serves to be an indicator of our healthy financial status to creditors. Healthy credit scores allow us to obtain a loan more easily in the future as well. 5. Creating a shopping list and impulsive shopping. Buying on impulse means unnecessary spending, which will reduce the flexibilities of controlling your expenses, as it also means reducing the spending on necessary items. We should not purchase any luxury items when we do not have extra cash, and even if we want to, it would usually be the money left in our monthly budget after all our financial priorities are settled. To control impulsive shopping, it is best we write down a list of items we need to buy so those which are not in the list are considered as unnecessary. Similar to long-term and short-term goals, we can always save up for luxury items which we can only afford later. 6. Purchasing Value We would always tend to ensure our purchases give us the value for our money and no after-sales problems at all. In particular circumstances, sometimes it is better to pay a bit more for products that will effectively last longer than buying the cheap ones which we have to constantly replace or repair. In contrast, not all products are better simply because they are more expensive. The prices of such products are down to a multitude of factors such as competition, consumer perception, quality of materials, cost of methods, etc. We should seek reviews from experts and other consumers before comparing these products to one another and deciding which gives us the best value according to our needs. 7. Investment Only allocating monthly income for certain investments does not guarantee profit, and therefore, every wise investor has plans for timely exits from their investments to avoid losses. In other words, we must possess sufficient knowledge and the right information to invest in any of the various financial instruments. Otherwise, we would suffer losses without being able to understand the reasons. On the other hand, we must monitor our investment funds to avoid losses as well as to seize fine opportunities to gain more profit from our investments. An even more secure way of preventing losses in our investments would be to have an exit strategy, especially when we can foresee the circumstances. 8. Retirement Funds even if governments enforce laws for the employees and the working citizens to allocate retirement funds, sometimes it would not be enough to live comfortably, particularly if you wish to retire at an earlier age. Besides, what good does it do for us if we have prepared the funds for our children to graduate from university or college if we end up in poor financial status when we retire? Having a retirement plan is a long-term goal which determines how we would like to live our lives when we retire. On the contrary, struggling to have such financial ability at retirement age means we have to delay retirement work for a few more years. 9. Consistent Raise once our income is raised, we should not forget our savings and investments for our future should also be proportionally raised. For instance, the rate of our savings per month is 20% of our monthly income of $5,000. That translated to $1,000. In the next year onwards, our income is raised to $6,000. 
and so the savings, based on 20% of 6000 should be $1,200. In the case where our expenses are not increased in comparison with our income, extra income means more flexibility of utilizing our money. Another way of raising our savings is to increase it from 20% of our income to 25% of our income, even when we do not get a pay raise. 10. Analyzing the financial condition and improvising the budget. With all the necessary steps taken to manage our financial status, we often overlook the review of our financial performance on a particular time basis. The reviews of our financial status usually are carried out at the end of the year or the month. Such timing is usually to see if our plans were executed well enough to help us achieve our financial goals. Such review helps us to understand the effectiveness of our financial management and allows us to identify the problems and the room for improvement. Once we have finished reviewing, we can proceed to the details which we can adjust, organize, and replace to fulfill our financial demands for the following months or further in the future. Here is a rather optimistic example of improving the monthly budget. This month will be the last month you will have to pay installments for your car. As you used up to 10% of your salary for the monthly installments of your car, you will have that amount extra cash you could utilize from next month onwards. So what will you do with that extra cash? Increase retirement funds? Invest in stocks? Run a side business? Or reward yourself? Having more or less money means we have to replan our budget. Nevertheless, there will always be room for improvement even when our financial performance matches or exceeds our targets. Analyzing our financial status with our expectations will provide much needed improvement. Once we have achieved our financial goals, business targets, and family goals, more often than not, we would have forgotten the passion we once had when we were young and often contemplate if it is already too late for us to chase after some of our dreams which were not realistic. The answer is, it is better late than never. We should take every opportunity to fulfill our dreams while our physical health and fitness conditions still allow us. Often, this type of passion can be very different from the goals we set to achieve because it might not be related to our daily life or the people around us. For instance, most of us would love to travel and explore the world, but lack the time and or the money to do so. After spending most of our life trying to create a better future for our family and ensuring the best education for our children, we would not have the sufficient energy levels for certain activities like extreme sports, skydiving, mountain climbing, motorsports racing, or contact sports, mixed martial arts, soccer, basketball. In order not to miss such exciting passion, we have maintained these particular activities as our leisure when we were young and therefore we must manage our passion so as not to affect the balance of other life aspects. Winston Churchill once said, We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Giving back to the society is not merely an act of social responsibility as we understand that most of what we receive is indirectly given by the society and our environments. Kindness and generosity are the values we want our next generation to inherit from us. We also wish that our children will understand that through these acts of generosity and kindness, we can improve the lives of people around us. Keeping this aspect in balance with our life will ensure our spirits are nourished and the meanings of our existence expand beyond our own perception to those who receive from us. After all, we can never define our own lives with only our achievements, as we must always justify the meaning of our achievements to the people around us, too. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.